Sorry, okay, that's that's what the bills make me want to do nowadays. But for good and bad reasons, you know what I mean? Like, that was the definition of shout, so there we go. It just so happened to be that last night was the definition of a really bad reason to shout. Still September, last day of September, but tomorrow it'll be October, and that's when this video will be uploaded, so, um, well, if you guys are watching this, just, you know... I'd like to at least start making these kind of videos where I give my post-game reaction or maybe even pre-game. Like, maybe I should start doing like pre-game videos, like, you know, predicting what I think will happen. It's, I don't know. I'm a Bills fan. I enjoy making videos. I like being involved in the Bills community. Why not make videos related to the Bills? So yesterday, the Bills basically looked like the Jaguars um, when we when we faced them, and that's not good. Dude, there are so many people out there right now that are like posting, like, "Oh my God, the season's over! Like this is a real first, like this is the real first test for the Bills." And well, you're not wrong in many cases, but at the same time, man, it's just it's just one game, bro. Like yeah, if we lose next week to Houston and Stefan Diggs, which that would suck, that then yeah, I would start getting worried. But it's just one game. Let's just calm down a little bit. It's extremely easy to just, you know, feel extremely doubtful, um, especially when you're so used to it for like 20 plus years. Just, you know, our natural instinct to lose one game and then have everybody in the entire fan base freak out, you know, like that's uh, just, just how it goes. And then you win one game against Kansas City or something, then we're like, oh, we're going to the Super Bowl. Like, is that not what happens? Anyway, like if you're a real Bills fan, you will stick with this team even if we go 0-30, which isn't even statistically possible, but you get my point. Like, it's just, even if we lose all the games, like, you stay a Bills fan. Dude, I got literally somebody like mowing the lawn over here in, in this huge field. You see this guy? Yeah, and uh, he's probably thinking I'm insane making this video right now. So let me break down what I saw in yesterday's game, okay? what? First of all, what I was aware of was probably going to happen is that Derrick Henry was just going to get anything he wanted all day. Derrick Henry, we struggled against him against the Titans, okay? That was that was very, oh, man, it was scary. But what else do you expect to happen? You know, like, we also don't have Matt Milano right now, but uh, at the same time, Derrick Henry is literally 250 pounds, maybe more, and just a, like a running freight train. I knew we were going to struggle against that. Um, and obviously the first, literally the first play of the game, he just, yeah, alright. Dude, it's not even 10 minutes into the video, meaning like I haven't been even recording for 10 minutes and my, I'm sweating already. Like you can see the sweat glistening off my forehead. It's just a sunny day, I'm in a car and it's uh, being reflected through the windshield up here, so. Like I didn't see a confident, um, strong, uh, energized Bills team until like the start of the third quarter when Allen made that huge pass. That play sparked a lot of fire in everybody's chest because it just gave us a little bit of hope for the rest of the game but then obviously saw the interception or the fumble because Allen decided to pull that shit back. That was the one play that our offensive coordinator probably should not have played. And of course, um, it cost us the fumble, it cost us Josh Allen's right arm almost, but I also believe that at that point, our team was kind of in a desperation point. Like, I mean, even going into the second half, we were in a desperation point already. Like, it was it was bad. And then all of a sudden, this is all Josh Allen's fault. You know what I mean? Like, you go to social media or Twitter X, any social media platform, and then you just see a bunch of people saying, you know, Josh Allen's so overrated, yeah, that's why he's on the that number one list. Like, my goodness, y'all are a bunch of haters, man. Like, that's insane. Like, just Really? One, one game? Josh Allen was voted the number one most overrated QB in the league to start the season, and then he came in 3-0 with the best stats from any QB in the season, in the league. But, you know what I mean? Like, it's that's just funny. I think, um, you know, next week is gonna be different. I'm gonna keep these short because I'm not a huge NFL expert. I'm just a diehard Bills fan that loves to watch football, and yeah, I like to at least break down what I saw sometimes, so that's what I'm doing here today. I was talking to my dad during the game. I was watching it with him, and obviously, we were both kind of just like... You know, well, shit. He made a point that we were basically just getting out coached, and I mean, yeah, I could see that. Obviously, both of the, both sides of the ball were just horrible. I think the part that sucked about this the most was that I was waiting all weekend. I was waiting ever since Thursday night. I was we, I was waiting for the Bills to come into this Sunday night game and have it be a really close game, and then you know maybe win and all that, and then all of a sudden we just get just run over. All of that waiting, all that anticipation and hype because we're three zero and everybody's looking at us. Oh god, we just embarrassed ourselves, man. It was uh, that was just bad. But guess what? It's our job as a Buffalo Bills fan base, no matter how bad we do, we, we stay in this shit. That's kind of our job as fans, you know what I mean? We could be 0-5, and if you don't bring that energy to the game, man, 
It's, you're not doing your job. Even though, like, in reality, if we were actually 0-5, I, I could completely understand why you wouldn't even want to go to the game. But it's, my point is, we got to stay loyal, man. There are so many people that look at the Bills and look at Josh Allen and be like, <laughs> overrated. You know, they're not good. They're just trash, man. Honestly, all I got to say to that, uh, let the stats speak for itself. And when people bring up the turn, like the turnover stat with Josh Allen, that pisses me off, okay? Because most of the turnovers that he has isn't even his fault. So why are we judging him for that? Like, let's say... Josh Allen throws an absolute laser to uh, one of our receivers or something and then it just bounces off his fingertips and then it lands in somebody else's hand and it's an interception. That's not Josh Allen's fault. So let's not judge him for having turnovers. You know, you guys are just a bunch of haters. I think I'm gonna end the video here now because my goodness, can you guys actually see this? I'm, I'm like sweating right now. I'm also wearing a white shirt so I guarantee if I got out of this car you'd see like a, a puddle or something on the back of my shirt. Get ready for Houston next week. Move on from the past week. Get ready for what you can do now. That's all you can do. So I'm just enjoying football right now and having a good time hanging out with family and um, I'll see you guys next week. Go Bills.